for Veracity special training session. This is the second one we've had in two days due to popular demand. A lot of you folks uh, had mentioned, uh, I should say a lot of you folks that are hopefully here, had mentioned that you couldn't uh, join us at 11 a.m. Eastern Time yesterday. We're glad you could make the time. We're glad uh, We're glad uh, you could join us today. Uh, my name is Raul. I'm the Coaching and Education Coordinator here at Trading Winds, and it's my job to sort of direct traffic during the session to get uh, your questions answered as many as we can and to keep our uh, head trader Vince Mora on time and schedule. I'll bring him in shortly. Just a couple of administrative matters before we do get started. As always, it's important that you can hear us and see us. If you can, please let us know by putting in some kind of uh, affirmative note in your chat box and we'll get started. I see a lot of familiar names. The first one is our friend Melanie. Melanie, nice to see you again. Thank you. And I do see Gwen as well. Prasad, you were the first one in. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice to see you. Chris, Gary, Carl, Jerome, Noel, Jay, Mohammed, Mike, Paul. We'll get to some other names throughout the session as well. It seems like it's going to be a busy program once again. Glad you could join us uh, early. The format of the program, somewhat informal. Vince will be teaching for probably the first uh, 45 minutes or so. Then we will be taking uh, symbols. And I believe he do, does have a couple of uh, trades that came out of uh, the scans that were done earlier today with this system. With that being said, let me give our head trader an <clears throat> informal welcome, then we'll give him a formal one. Vince, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm great, thank you. How are the markets? <laughs> <laughs> uh, bit of, a little mixed today, but closed uh, most, mostly higher today. <clears throat> Uh, it was was a little surprising. Earlier in the morning, there was talk of, uh, you know, the whole Brexit story coming back to the Article 50 and so on, but uh, really didn't have much of an impact today. Uh, crude moved on some inventory news. We had that early. Uh, Brexit was supposed to be a catalyst for some kind of movement. turned out to be mo uh, mostly a non-story. Mm -hmm. Do you expect it to become a story in the next few weeks? No, I, I really don't, not unless... Um, you know, there's some some serious developments there, but otherwise, it's something that is going to be is going to carry on for a while. So, no, I don't expect I expect it to have an immediate impact. Excellent, veracity. Uh, mm -hmm. I know it's a system that you've been working on for over 20 years, mm -hmm. been trading professionally for over 30 years. Over the last yeah. 10 years, your focus has been on teaching and educating the retail trader to help them compete against the institutions as well as against the high frequency traders. Um, it's a battle, isn't it, for the retail trader? It is, and, and more and more with technology, it's becoming a battle. But um, the upside is, uh, you know, as the years go on, uh, the retail trader has just as much access to these tools as the institutions have. In prior years, it wasn't like that. The um, <clears throat> institutions had a real advantage but nowadays, uh, we have just as many tools as they do. With what you're going to show today, is this something that any retail trader could use to level the playing field against uh, some of the bigger institutions and some of the bigger traders out there? Yes, absolutely. And, and it really doesn't matter what you prefer to trade. So be it stocks, forex, futures, uh, options, it really doesn't matter. And it works on <laughs> excuse me, any time frame, um, works well on any market. This is a system like all the others that is based solely on technical analysis and the core of it is based on trend and momentum but it does involve several other indicators with specific settings that uh, I've tweaked over the years um, and the the real bonus as you're, you're gonna hear me say many times tonight is that this really allows you to take advantage of the big runs without increasing your risk. In other words, your losses are still kept very, very small, but uh, your winners are allowed to run. And uh, I will show you plenty of examples and explain it all to you in the next hour. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right to it, folks. This is Veracity. Great. Thank you, everyone, for um, for joining us tonight. This is Veracity. It is my baby, as, as Raul said, um, something I've developed over the past 20 years. <clears throat> Let me just flip my uh, slide here and tell you, as Raul said, I am Vince Moore. I'm the head trader here at Trading Wins, and I have been doing this for 30 years. I am the developer of Veracity, and I've left these trade, 
trades on here for one very specific reason. At first glance, these percentages may seem outrageous to you. They may seem like trades I've, I've cherry-picked. The reason I, I put this on here is not to impress you or to, to gloat about this, but uh, to prove to you over the next hour or so that these are very common with this system. That's what it's designed to do. It was designed to capture the big moves in the market. Okay, And now this one, uh, like several other systems that we've developed over the years, are not only used by um, retail traders such as yourself, but also by money managers and, and hedge funds. But please do not do not go out and trade with real money until you're completely comfortable. Trading can be risky, so please get comfortable first and then uh, start trading with real money. Now in tonight's presentation, I am going to start off with just a handful of slides. I'm going to talk a bit about the biggest challenges in the market, and these are actually very common challenges. They're, they're not so only you know specific to the, today's kind of market, but they are certainly re very relevant to what we're seeing today. I'm then going to talk a bit about the different components that uh, make up this system and how this all got started, and then hopefully not only explain to you how it works and why it works, but how this can work for you. And then, of course, I'll stick around and try to answer as many questions for you as I can. Let's start off with the biggest challenges in today's markets. Um, <clears throat> now, I, as Rose said, I've been coaching uh, students for many years now. And throughout that time, whether it's someone that is a complete beginner or someone who has been trading for a while, they have very, very common challenges. Uh, the the biggest that I've seen is dealing with volatility, and that's all the back and forth in the market. How do you handle it? When is it an advantage? When is is it um, uh, a big obstacle? Well, if you're trading on daily charts, and there's and you run into a period of increased volatility, it is going to be a a challenge for you. Those are actually the times uh, that you want to avoid. Uh, but if you are a day trader, for example, volatility is going to be one of your best friends. So it really is a matter of adjusting your time frame to deal with it. But more importantly than that, you have to recognize when you're in that type of period first. So before I move on to any other slides, let me bring up my, my charting platform and show you how to spot this. So recently, you know, we've been trending fairly well. This is a chart of the SPIs, the S&P 500. When, you know, an instrument is trending strongly in one direction or another, normally what you will see is that the candles are all very similar in size, okay? And there's they're, they're mostly made up of bodies. In other words, very few wicks and tails on these candles. That's how you know you're in a strong trend and a period of low volatility okay when you're in a period of increased volatility it's going to look something like it did here and back in here look at the difference notice the different sizes of the candles compared to to what you normally see and you suddenly start to see a lot of wicks and tails and the reason for it is each candle is a tug of war between buyers and sellers and when there's a lot of back and forth it, it usually tends to leave these long wicks or long tails so that's how you know you're in a period of very high volatility and it for a, a swing trader on a daily time frame that becomes a very very challenging period usually you're gonna get stopped out quite a bit there but if you lower your time frame within these large bars on lower time frames there are some real strong opportunities okay and and I'll show you how to take advantage of them with with veracity as we go through this presentation let me get back to my slides here and show you that the second challenge that I see that that is very common just like we're in a period right, right now with the markets, is what direction can we expect the market to go in next? Okay, it's you know, as a trader, 
you not only need to spot a certain pattern that you want to take advantage of, but you always need to sort of have an opinion on what the next direction of that particular stock is, and, and it really helps if you know the direction of the overall market. Well, it's easier than you think. First of all, without um, using any tools, one of the things you can do is increase your time frame. Unlike volatility where you want to reduce your time frame, for market direction you want to increase it. You want to look at weekly or monthly charts because those are always smoother and they give the longer term picture and it's very, very clear when you have a strong trend in place on a weekly or monthly chart. Um, and just like you can spot those periods of sideways consolidation. So normally, if you increase your time frame, it becomes very clear what that direction is. But veracity is a tool that you can use to call every, every new bull market and every new bear market, and I will show you that in just a few minutes. Then, of course, um, another huge challenge for most traders is exactly when to exit. Whether the trade has gone against you or whether you've got a nice profit, it's always a, cha a challenge to decide when to exit. And the reason for this is once you're in the trade, emotions come into play. And so it's a matter of building the right habits or having the right tool that will keep you disciplined and not scare you out of a trade and keep you in for the bulk of that move. Again, it's taken 20 years or so for me to perfect this system and this is exactly the reason why all, all these different challenges trying to overcome them with the combination of indicators oscillators and the rules I've wrapped around it but with that combination we're able to not only get in the trade when we need to but we're able to stay in for the bulk of that move and again I'll show you how in a few moments so as I mentioned this system involves several in indicators and oscillators with very specific settings that I've developed over the years all through testing not just back testing but actually trading it in, in live markets and so the core of the system came together very quickly 20 years ago uh, in a matter of weeks but since then I've spent the rest of the time tweaking it and perfecting it all because I wanted to take advantage of the upside without increasing the amount of risk that I'm taking. It will become much clearer on the chart. But, you know, for the last 20 years or so, actually longer than that, I've, I've been obsessed with sort of trying to find the holy grail like everyone else. Now, I know it doesn't exist. There is no perfect system. But I hate risk. I absolutely hate risk. I am an extremely conservative trader. The reason for it is... Uh, because I got I got smacked around pretty good by the markets when I first started and lost a lot of money So I learned the hard way and those are the types of lessons that never leave you And so since then I've tried to do this while taking minimal risk and and that's how this all came about now I know exactly how well it works because I've been trading with this for for the last 20 years, but um, To give you a little confidence that this will work um, not only am I going to show it to you tonight, but uh, I do want to make the point to tell you that I have been trading this, not just testing it, but trading it over that time period as well. So what can it do? What, what does it do? What's designed, as I mentioned earlier, to catch the big move? So unlike our winning momentum strategy or our favorite trade setup, that is designed to move into the markets during a very safe period to trade when you have a nice strong trend in your favor and you have momentum on your side and you know those systems are designed to jump in catch a portion of that move and get you out and do so consistently this one is designed to get you in a little earlier and to keep you in up until the end of that move okay but the real beauty of it is like I said, the losses, when there are losses, uh, are kept very, very small. In other words, as soon as the trend starts going against you, the system recognizes it and issues an exit uh, flag for you. Okay, So again, it maximizes that safety component. That's the only way I'm able to trade 
Um, like I said, I absolutely hate risk. So what can it do for you though? That's the main question I'm sure you've been waiting to hear about. Well, it's not only going to help you find some great trading opportunities regardless of the time frame, whether you're a day trader or a swing trader, but even if you're a longer term investor, um, there are some massive long term trades that I will show you tonight. So if you're managing an investment account, a retirement account, an IRA account, and you know, you, you plan to hold a portfolio of stocks, especially dividend paying stocks. And this is not only going to show you when to get in, but it's going to help you remain in that trade until the very end of that move. Okay. And there's one other big bonus with this tool is it will help you predict every new bull market and every new bear market. How many times have you seen CNBC and heard an analyst come on and predict a major move? And then you hear, well, this guy's called every every move since the crash of 1987, etc. There are ways to do it, and this will do it for you. Okay, so let's get to the charts, and let me show you exactly how this will work for you. <clears throat> and I'm going to throw on the indicator here. Now, at first glance, and let me change the time frame here. <clears throat> there we go. Now, you're going to see little diamonds, green and red. You're going to see green arrows and red arrows and these little exit flags. Hopefully you can all see it. I will zoom into certain areas throughout the, uh, the presentation tonight, okay? But um, I don't want you to focus on, at least not at the beginning, as to whether or not, you know, this was a winner, that was a loser, etc. Let me just explain what you're seeing first, and then uh, I will start going through the examples. The diamonds, whether they're green or red, are showing you what we call setup bars. In other words, it's giving you a heads up that a trade could be coming, but it's not quite ready for you to jump in just yet. So a green diamond means a long setup is about to happen, and a red means, hey, heads up, there's about to be a short setup here. If you see it followed by a green arrow, the green arrow only appears when it's time to actually get into the trade. That is your trigger point, okay? And then every, every bar after that arrow is going to be colored green during a long trade and red during a short trade. This is there to help you remain disciplined and not get scared out of a trade. How many times have you gotten in you know, seeing green bar, green bar, green bar, and then you see a nice size red bar and start wondering whether or not it's going to turn around and cause you to give up those profits or should you get out, should you not. You end up getting out only to see it continue moving higher. This is there to help you remain calm and stick with the trade. Well, there's another piece of this indicator that is is um, was designed to help hold your hand through the life of the trade and make it even easier for you. I'll show you that near the end of the presentation, okay? So <clears throat> the line you see on here isn't even actually part of this indicator. This is just a 20 period simple moving average that I have on just about every chart layout that I use. And uh, most of you who, who know me know that it's there to help us read momentum, okay? so. Remember I said this can call the bull markets and the bear markets? Well, look at here, late 2004 is when it called that bull market, okay? So in other words, it moved from, from below that moving average to above, kind of pulled back a little and then broke that high. That was the start of that run. And that was the bull market that lasted right up until the end of 2007. I mean, you all remember what 2008 was like it was a, just a, a straight drop well here's what I mean and this is what what took so long for me to develop you know finding an entry point is a lot easier it's that exit that really matters and here it got us out right at the end in December of 2007 just before that crash so it helped us avoid that yeah, it was a little late calling the entry on that drop, 
But as you can see, when it starts going against you, it recognizes that the tide has changed. It also gets you out. Now, here is early, excuse me, early to mid 2012 when we started the next major bull run here. That lasted all the way up until August of uh, 2015. And again, it caught the majority of that move. Now, recently, since last April, it indicated another run higher and it's been moving higher ever since. This is not uncommon. You're going to see this throughout the examples. And whether it's a monthly time frame, a weekly, a daily, a five minute, a 15 minute, or whether it's a Forex pair, a futures contract, or a stock, it really doesn't matter, works just as well. Okay, so hopefully at the end we'll have time for you to throw out a few symbols and, and, and we can show you how they would have worked. But I thought I'd start with a few Dow components and then show you some um, some futures contracts and, and Forex, etc. So you can get a feel for it. Let's start with, with Apple, which is probably the most popular stock out there that's traded. <clears throat> Let me type in the right symbol to begin with here. And here, let's, let's start off with the monthly and move backwards here. So another nice thing about this is if any of you like to trade penny stocks or at least stocks under $10 single digits, um, I like doing that a lot because um, I can buy them pretty much for the same price that I would buy an option contract. Yet instead of having a 20, 25 delta or even a 70 delta, I end up having a 100 delta. On there, well, Veracity will will call these these trades exactly the same as it would on a hundred dollar stock and a thousand dollar stock. It really doesn't matter. But sometimes you end up discovering a gem like an Apple. So before Apple really became Apple, it was a single digit stock that was just consolidating, you know, in in that five dollar range for many many years, and then suddenly here is the first um, setup and trigger that kicked off the first run that got it going up until uh, up to the ten dollar range before that first pullback okay then we start to gain momentum behind the move see that slope on the 20 and then it called another shot and got us in <clears throat> another significant pullback got us in for the major run again look at this in very very early on the move and in pretty much right up until the end of that move and getting us out before you know we give up all the profits so that we can keep the bulk of that and these are some very significant trades I mean if you look at this one the entry here was around seventeen eighteen dollars a share and this one went you know as high as 95 but got us out here when it was about 84 or so so from 18 to 84 yes it took for uh, or five years to make that move but again if you're managing a longer term portfolio um, that's a fantastic move and if you're collecting dividends along the way um, in in the class that we teach along with this indicator we also talk about when you could sell some covered calls against it to bring in additional premium all of that is possible with this now the other thing is that you can just simply use the monthly time frame for a longer term trend. In other words, when you see veracity call the longer term trend to the upside, then you want to switch to the lower time frames and patiently wait for the long setups. Only trade in the same direction as the longer term trend and just pick up off those trades one at a time. Let's go down to the daily time frame and show you some of those. Here's the most recent one. Here, back um, in, in early January, right the beginning of the year on Apple and it's been a long ever since and again once you're in there all the bars are green so that there's no need to get scared out of that trade now how do we know which of these arrows to take because I don't want you walking away thinking that you need to short every time you see a red arrow and go long every time you see a green arrow that's not the objective here there are many of these trades that you will not take based on the rules of the system. Okay? Again, it's, 
these these are there these triggers are there because they need to be in the formula in or, order for this to to uh, get us in early and keep us in for the bulk of the move but there are some rules that we wrap around here that um, uh, that help us avoid some of the chop but even if we took every arrow here have a look at these ones down in here okay the short trades that did not work out have a look at how quickly it exits okay so how small that that loss would be compared to the winning trades so one nice winner will knock off many many losers but the whole goal here and the pattern with this over the years has been that you will find more winners than losers and your winners will be much greater than your losers and, and, and that's really uh, what we were striving for uh, with this let's look at a few uh, other trades here another Dow component um, Disney, another long time Dow component. Here, <clears throat> let's zoom in. This is the weekly time frame. And you can see that during the stretches, during those nice trending areas, it keeps you in basically from the beginning till the end of that move. Yes, it may ask you to get out and then back in. That's just a matter of commissions. And commissions these days are so inexpensive that it really is insignificant here okay now to keep it simple even without all the other rules if you were to just focus on the trades that happen with momentum on your side in other words have a look at that 20 period moving average as we go through the charts just look at the trades that happen with that moving average sloping in the direction of that trade meaning sloping higher whenever you see a green arrow or sloping lower whenever you see a red arrow there if that that setup happens very close to the moving average and it has that slope I, I challenge you to find many that that are losers um, it that's the the beauty of this you can just keep it simple but during the class that I'll, I'll talk about a little later on uh, we teach you also how to know which one of these Arrow. See the bottom left hand corner here? Number of ins and outs, in and out, in and out. Okay? You don't want to take every one, you're just getting chopped around. There's there's specific reasons or times when you would get in here and when you would not. And, and I'll explain more about that a little later. Now this is the weekly time frame. And let's look at the monthly here. Again, from before the actual bull market began in 2012, it called an entry long entry on Disney here in and around the $38 mark uh, took us all the way up to the 120 ish area got us out here near 103 so again another very very substantial move but whether you want the longer time frames or the shorter time frames here you go some very very nice clean setups and whether you're trading this with options whether you're buying the stock on its own, uh, whether you're you know, selling uh, credit spreads or um, just going long calls or puts, it really doesn't matter, okay? You see some great setups throughout, and I can go back and back and back, and it's very consistent. And that's the other thing you should do with this. Whenever you see a trade set up, scroll back on your chart. Always look to your left and see how Veracity does with that particular underline. There are some that it works extremely well on and others that are a little choppy. It really depends how much volume there is on that underline and uh, how, how, uh, what the average true range is, how often it bounces around. That will depend on how clean those, uh, those setups and triggers are, okay? I'm also gonna show you some intraday examples and actually let me show you before we move on, uh, an actual pink sheets penny stock. So the, the range is huge here. You can go from the monster stocks like a Tesla and Amazon, a price line, to some completely unknown little pink sheet uh, issues here. What I love about these, let me zoom on a, a little here, is that <clears throat> once you know exactly which setups to take and which ones 
to not. When you're dealing with such an inexpensive stock, you're, you can purchase a lot more shares. And every once in a while, <clears throat> one of these penny stocks will explode. And when it does, you're going to catch that move. And, and that's the beauty of it, is gets you in early and gets you out when, that, when it's just about to roll over here. So you don't give it all up, okay? But uh, it, now, the other thing I should say is, yes, it's colored all green to keep you disciplined and keep you in the trade. That does not stop you from scaling out along the way. We also talk about that in the class. And many of you who follow me know, you can just plot your FIB extension tool and start scaling out at the different targets, etc. as you go along. That way, you're banking profits along the way and uh, eliminating your risk. Because remember, it can gap against you at any time, okay? So you also have to uh, trade this the smart way. But let's, let's have a look at um, a few others. Let's look at Goldman Sachs. Okay. Goldman Sachs really took off and kind of led this market higher after the election, right? Let's go to the daily time frame and have a look at that before we look at the longer time frames. So the election was what, November 8th here? Well, it had called it from here. So Veracity had it as a long before the election, after the election, it just took off and kind of lifted all the markets with it. Then we went kind of flat, got us out here near the top. We went silent, we pulled back, and then got us in here. This is not a trade we would have taken, by the way. And once you take the class, you'll understand why. Um, and then it got us back in here. And this is one you would have taken, which would have been that next run. And then again, got us out right near the top. Whether it's daily, whether it's weekly, whether it's monthly, whether it's a five minute, 15 minute, here's the monthly. And when you see a chart like this, with a lot of wicks and tails, like that, different size bars, you don't wanna to touch it, whether it has a setup or not. You wanna to stick to the basics. Let's lower our time frame here, see if there was any, any trades here over the last couple of days. This is the five minute. Yeah, there were a few. Here, uh, let's look at maybe a 15 minute. See if there was anything today on the 15 minute. Let's apply. Yeah, there are some nice ones on the 15 minute. There we go. Nice strong trend. And there are those trades. Remember, you have a, a slope in your favor. You get that set up right near that moving average and boom, off it goes. And where does it get you out? Right at the bottom, okay? Give me a second to just take a sip of my water and I'll be right back. Okay. Is everything clear? Does anyone have any questions? You can put them, start putting them in the, in the uh, inbox. I will. As I mentioned, take some time to answer your questions near the end. I just want to get in as many examples as I can here. Now, how many of you trade um, Forex, for example? Um, the members here, our members know that we look at the USD CAD pair um, on a regular basis. We'll look at a couple of others as well. But um, it doesn't matter which pair you look at. It works exactly the same way. So let's zoom back in here. Here's the USD CAD on the weekly. Again, some really nice setups. The monthly, remember that cup and handle? Well, it got us in well before that cup and handle formation, but it also caught the majority of that drop beforehand. Let's look at the daily chart here. Not a great chart to trade though. Very choppy, very ugly not great at all. We would not be taking uh, most of these uh, trades here. Let's look at something like the Japanese yen here <clears throat> and zoom out or zoom back in here. Yeah, some really nice ones back in here. Now, the other thing you can do with this is just use the basics of technical analysis to, to reinforce the setups. In other words, 
um, trend lines. I've spoken a lot about trend lines lately. We've had a couple of classes on them. You can draw these trend lines and, um, and for example, you, you know, if it had called a trade here but you had missed it, okay, or you weren't quite sure with it, about it or didn't want to take it because the moving average was flat here, you know, it moves up and pulls back. If you look to your left, where did it move right back into a support area? So you can then take that secondary trade right in there for the rest of that move. You can use trend lines for trend line breaks here, you know, across and look at that break that happens. There's that arrow right on the break to confirm that. There are many, many ways you can use this. You don't have to change your trading style completely. You don't have to scrap everything you've been doing that's been working for you. In fact, you should keep it, uh, keep doing it, but this will certainly reinforce that. How many of you trade futures contracts like crude oil, for example? Now, remember when crude was, was uh, over $100 here and then completely dropped? Down, well, there it is. It called that move right from the beginning here. Got us out right near the end of that initial move, then back in for the next couple of legs lower, all the way down to 26. Recently, gave us a move higher here, and now got us out. So whether it's crude, whether it's gold, gold is another one that's very popular, gold futures. Um, you know, it's, it's going to work well uh, on just about every time frame. Let's look at uh, something like Tesla, a monster stock that usually has a very, very decent average true range and tends to trend very well. Let's look at the lower time frame, see if there was anything there over the last few days. Yeah, on the five minute, caught some nice trades. There was a, a short one this, this morning. Let's look at the 15 minute here. Are there any any symbols any of you would want to see? Type them in, and after a few more examples, we'll uh, we'll get to some questions, and then if we have time, we'll we'll review a few. Here's the 15 minute on Tesla. Some very very nice trades. Another time frame that I really like is the hourly time frame on stocks over a hundred dollars a share. The hourly time frame works extremely well, and these moves are very can, can be very significant. You know, going from um, like 251 to 264, for example, a $13 move here, you know, over the span of three days or so on the hour. I mean, that's fantastic. Um, and we can scroll back and you can see there's some pretty, pretty monster moves. So you're in and out of the market in a short period of time, not taking a lot of risk, and, uh, uh, you know, and, and it looks pretty well. Um, all right, you know what? Uh, let's let's see. Let's take a couple of symbols, why don't we? And then we'll move on and, and uh, answer some questions. How about that? Okay. Uh, I've got Jay requesting Nvidia. Nvidia. So let's have a look at Nvidia. Here, it was trending really well for most of the past year, and then kind of went sideways. Let's scroll in here. Yeah, um, there's the weekly, and there's that move that really started in February of 2016 here. There's another nice one earlier from August of 2015 into December, and then from Feb of 20, 2016, there's the bulk of that move, and then getting us out here. So, uh, and, and remember, all of these arrows back in here, more than three quarters of those you would not be taking, okay? But even if you do get a few of those, in and out, very, very small. Some are break-even, others are small losses. Compared to the winners, there's no question about it. Recently, we just went long again on NVIDIA here. Um, so uh, there's one that works really well. We can look at the lower time frames, not sure what we'll see. There's the daily, some pretty nice trades on the daily all the way through that run higher. Okay. My friend uh, Farzad was asking for U.S. Steel on a one minute. U.S. Steel on a one minute. Wow. Okay. Let's look at that on a one minute. 
Uh, this is the weekly first, and there's some nice trades, but let's go all the way to one minute and see if there's anything there. And yeah, there we go. There is a few right in here. So we went from, uh, what was it here, 33 down here and all the way now down to, well, it's, yeah, it doesn't, the range is very small on a one minute, 32.78. But you can see, let me scroll back and see if there's anything else. Yeah, there's another caught most of that move, this one here. So again, any any time frame. And you know, trading a $30 stock on a one minute, usually you don't see many, many setups. Usually it's the more expensive stocks. But um, if there's enough volume there, if there's enough of an ATR, uh, which ATR is an, an indicator you want to use when you're, when you're day trading, uh, you can find some real nice setups just like this one, okay? So let how, let me just tell them a bit about the the, the, the class and how they can get this, um, and then I will come back and answer some questions and show you many more examples. Okay. So what we've done is we've put together a couple of great packages for you on this. Just go to tradingwins.com forward slash win. Now there's the platinum package and there's the day trader package. The package on the left here, the platinum package, is more geared uh, towards uh, end of day trading. In other words, if you're trading on the daily, weekly, or monthly time frame. And what you get is the full indicator here. And I'm going to go back and actually show you the other piece of the indicator. I actually overlooked that for you. I'm going to show you that. But um, you get the full indicator along with a lifetime license of MetaStock. Um, our technicians will set it all up for you. It takes about 15 minutes over the phone. We're going to include two months of data, no charge. You're going to get these three uh, pro training sessions, two are on demand training sessions, and another, which I hope you'll watch before the live class. And then we're going to have a live class on March 31st. That's this Friday. When is it, Raul? One o'clock? One Eastern. One Eastern. One o'clock Eastern. And uh, it will also be recorded for you if you can't attend live. That Those classes are where I describe in detail which trade you should take and which one you should not. Also talking about trading it with options and a few other things. And we'll also throw in a 30-day membership to our pro service so that you'll have a month to come back with any questions that you have. Um, if you're already an existing pro member, we will extend your membership by 30 days. Now, the package on the right is a day trader package, Again, just like the name suggests, geared towards day traders, those of you who, who like to trade on the lower time frames with real-time data. Here again, you get everything that's in the Platinum package, plus you get a lifetime license to Metastock real-time. That alone is what, about $1,300, I think? That's correct. Yeah. Um, the, you get the five, in fact, five on-demand sessions, two of which are geared specifically to day trading, and you also attend the live class this Friday. Also for this package, I give you the, my option trading plan for intraday trading, that is. You also get the two months of, of free data and 60 days of membership. Just go to tradingwins.com forward slash win. Now, before I get to a few questions, let me go back here and um, show you the other parts of this indicator that I think are extremely important. Metastock, um, Jeff Gibby and his team did a fantastic job on this and I want to show you uh, what they've come up with. So let's zoom in. You know what the diamonds and the arrows mean and so on and the fact that we co color the bars here so that uh, it helps you stay in the trade. Well there's another portion of this. If you go to the top left hand corner, go to view and throw in the expert commentary. It brings up a box here. Now if you look at the far right hand candle here the most recent candle, there's a, a black little triangle above it. It always defaults to the most recent candle, but you can move that over any candle just by clicking above it or by using these arrows on the top of the box here. Now, whenever it's over a candle that isn't part of a trade, there's this space here, this white blank space in this box. Um, but when there's either a setup or uh, a trigger or or there's a live trade, there will be text there. Now, in this box, it will give you the symbol 
it'll give you the date that you're on. It'll talk a bit about myself and trading wins and, and the veracity itself. But it's this text in this blank space that matters. And when it has anything to do with a long trade, it will be in green. When it has something to do with a short trade, it'll be in red. So when there's a setup, it'll warn you. It'll tell you that it's signaling a long setup. But it'll also tell you that to confirm that it's a valid buying opportunity, it'll tell you what to wait for. In this instance, wait for a trade above the setup bars high to confirm that buy signal. Now, when that happens, the arrow will appear and it will remain on there. Okay, and then throughout the life of the trade, the candles will be painted green, but as the arrow moves from candle to candle, what you're also going to see is your stop loss level. In other words, there is a trailing stop associated with this that will be listed here. That way, you can set an alert for yourself or a stop order or however you want to manage it, uh, but you know the exact level of where that exit flag will appear should that price be violated. And as you go through, clicking on different candles, you'll notice that this number will change and update. Okay? So again, you can scale out along the way, but you'll always know exactly where that exit is going to be. And then eventually when you get up to where there's an exit, it'll tell you uh, all long signals should be exited, okay? Now, the other thing that I should have mentioned was when it suggests that long trade here uh, for the setup or, or the actual trigger, it will give you a suggestion uh, if you're gonna trade this with options. You know, how long to expiration you wanna go, uh, the kind of delta you wanna uh, take, that sort of thing. So. It, it is great, but what this expert commentary really is there for is to kind of hold your hand throughout the life of the trade. Now, aside from that, there's also a scanner. If you go to the top left and go to this little letter, uh, the P, here, power console, it brings up this box. I'm going to open it up for you so you can see it very clearly. We're going to go to the Explore tab. And on the Explore tab, it's split into three sections. The top section are all these strategies programmed into Metastock. You have to scroll to the bottom because they're in alphabetical order. So mine are all near the bottom. Now here are veracity and there's two of them. There's veracity setups and signals. The setups are for those diamonds, the setup bars. The signals mean the actual triggers, the ones that have already triggered and you can scan for either one. Right now we'll scan just for the setups here. Okay. Now, at the bottom are all the different markets that you can scan. Asia, Europe, North America, South America, you name it. I like to go into the index constituents here and search the Dow, industrials, transports, utilities, the NASDAQ, S&P, etc. We'll do the Dow and the NASDAQ for now, just in interest of time. And then once you've selected the stocks you want to search, by the way, you can create your own watch list. I'll talk a, a bit about that as well. You go to the far right and select the time frame that you want to search for. Is it daily? Is it five minute, one minute, weekly, whatever you want? We'll leave it at daily. Then you go to the bottom and you click start exploration. When you do that, this little box will pop up. It'll tell you how many instruments you've selected. And then just above, above it, you'll notice that those are the number of charts that it is analyzing and is already completed. So you can see how fast this is. I used to search literally over 3,000 charts a night, and it would take me a couple of hours. Now it takes a couple of minutes with this. It's fantastic. Once it's done, just click the Reports tab, and it'll come up with a, uh, a box that's moved to one of my other monitors here. Let me drag it over for you. There it is. And those are the setups that it, it has found. Okay. Now, when you get here, the way you know whether it's a long setup or a short setup, look at these two columns. If it has a, the number one associated with it, that means it's a long setup. Okay, and so if that one appears on the short column, that means it's a short setup. But all of these columns up here, you can sort by these. So if I want to sort by all longs, or I want to sort by all shorts, I can do that. I can sort by price, you know, smallest to highest, or, or the most expensive to the least expensive, whatever I want, and I can either print this list, I can save it, paste it into a watch list, or I can simply 
open a chart uh, for it. Now, there are a few trades, a couple of trades I've selected to show you that, that have come up on the scan. I'll show you one now, then we'll take a few questions and I'll give you the other one. American Airlines showed up on the scan. If we open that chart here, <clears throat> let me close this box. There it is. So we we're, you can see by scrolling back that it, it actually works very well on American Airlines. And recently it started rolling over. Now, from time to time you'll see a setup that is not followed by an arrow. That means that for whatever reason, there was a rule or two that disqualified this, okay? But now it's setting up again. And you can see, look at that, how sharp that downward slope is. We had a nice orderly pullback and today we move lower. So uh, if we put on the expert commentary on here, there's that little black diamond above it. And you can see that it's telling you that we're currently in a short trade setup, but you must wait for a trade below the setup bars low to confirm that short signal. So it doesn't mean you jump in right now, you've got to wait for that. If that happens, the red arrow will appear and, uh, and we'll be in a live short trade. Okay, so that's one of them. Let's take a few questions and then we'll come back and I'll share the other one uh, with you. There was one more I wanted to uh, share with you tonight. I did have a request for uh, Facebook, if you can take a look at that. That was from Tiger. Okay. I hope uh, it's not Tiger Wood. <laughs> <laughs> Let me bring back my chart here and let's look at Facebook. Any particular time frame? Didn't mention, so let's start okay. with the daily. So let's look at Facebook. <clears throat> let's go to daily. Zoom in. Yeah, so pretty nice moves. Recently, there was this trade here, got us out and now got us back in. When was it? Around the 22nd, and it's still in a long trade. So. This one looks like it wants to continue higher. It is at all-time highs, no resistance up ahead. Uh, nice momentum behind the move. So that one should should continue moving higher. <clears throat> Harry says, uh, Vince, do, do you use the volume indicator at the bottom? Um, no, we, we do look at that whenever um, there's a couple of um, uh, spikes, a potential double bottom, for example that we may want to look at, at volume. We just sort of left that as part of the template because, uh, you know, there are a lot of traders that use volume. But no, it's not necessarily part of, uh, of this system. Uh, Matt and a couple of other people were asking data fees if you're using the end of day package, which we'll show to you in just a moment. Uh, again, data fees $24.95 per month for the North American data, $149, let's say $150 a month for the real time. Uh, again, with exchange fees. So if you're trading, I saw folks here trading the Singapore market. Have you ever uh, traded the Singapore? I market? have. You have. I have traded Singapore. I've traded Hong Kong. Um, and by the way, I've I've, I've uh, tested this in Australia um, on the Nifty in India, just to prove that it works on anything. Um, again, it's technical analysis. So anything you can chart on. Uh, it will work. So it doesn't matter what market you, you trade this on or what time frame, et cetera. It works. I saw a few other people asking if that they got here late and wanted to know if it works on futures. It does. Futures, Forex, it uh, really doesn't matter. Uh, Dave says, Vince, if you're in a bull pattern, green, you do hold your position through an earnings report? Uh, no, not necessarily. It, de it depends um, what time frame you're trading. If I'm on the daily and I'm, I'm walking in there, into an earnings report, I'm either going to take my profits and walk away or I'm going to make sure I go delta neutral on that trade because I don't want to get caught with an unexpected gap against me. So we go over all of this during the those training sessions. I not only tell you which arrows are, you want to take or jump in on, but um, also talk about how we trade this with options and, and the kind of events you want to avoid and so on. It's all part of the course. Jerome was asking for a look at WYNN. W -Y -N -N. Sure. Now that's a very, it's been a very choppy stock. Um, recently, it's been breaking out. Let's see. 
Uh, this is the weekly time frame. And if I scroll back, you'll notice once again, picked up some pretty nice moves. Here's that chop, long winded area of a chop, basically a year. And now recently we've broken out here. And there's a very specific reason why you would have wanted to take this one and not these that we go over in the in the class. But now this is on on the move, and um, looks like there's there's more upside uh, to come here. Let's let's have a look at a longer time frame. There are those monthly moves. Let's go a little lower. Oops, refresh the data by mistake. There's the daily, and there's that more most recent pop. But again, you, you can just look at this, and if you see a choppy chart like this, you don't have to take it. The other thing you're going to find is that there are going to be many, many setups of these every night. Your job is to select the one or two best, and um, that's what all the classes are geared towards. How do you select those? Right. It was Alan that had asked for Priceline. Okay. Let's look at Priceline. Priceline, let me zoom back out here. This is the weekly. Was trending really nicely here. Then it kind of got a little choppy. More, more recently, it's starting to trend. Now remember, basics, basics. You have a nice, strong momentum play here. Nice strong slope on that 20 period moving average, pulls back towards it. You get those arrows right near the moving average, and there it goes. Just keep it simple, okay? Daily chart, there's some nice moves here throughout, some back in here. Hopefully, me scrolling doesn't affect your screen or your picture. Let me know. If it does, or if you want me to zoom in, let's go to the lower time frames and see if there was anything on price line. Hourly, there was a nice move here. Let's have a look from what was it? 1760, we'll call it more or less, up to a high of about 1798. Got us out here near 1789. So, about a $29 move here in just a few hours, right? Pretty substantial. Well, I guess what the uh, market cap for Priceline is? This is a company that, uh, that we're talking about, you know, it's a fad, name your own price, $88 billion. 88? $88, $88 billion. Wow. Okay. All right, um, I'll let you recap the offer one more time before sure. we head out, and I think you had a second trade as well too. Yes, to I do, more. actually I do. Let me just put up the, uh, Offer again here. Again, it's tradingwinds.com forward slash win. And the platinum package on the left here um, is again geared towards end of day traders, daily time frame and up. You get the full indicator include, that includes the expert commentary, the scanner, all of that. But you also get a lifetime license to Metastock end of day. You get uh, our technicians assistance in setting it all up for you. You get two months of data included at no charge. You get the three training sessions, and you get the 30-day membership to our pro service. For those of you who are not aware, with the pro service come nightly videos every Sunday to Thursday, five times a week. Um, I will send you a video recapping the markets that day and highlighting trade, trade ideas from, from the various systems we have. Um, and we also have live market chats that you can join us for. These are important because if you have any questions on veracity or any other any other part of, tr of your trading, you can come into our room, ask me any trading-related question you like during those sessions. They're also recorded and put in your video library. Um, we also It also comes with a course of the month at no extra charge. Every month our pro members get a, a course uh, for no uh, additional cost. The day trader package includes everything that's in the platinum and more. Uh, here you get a lifetime license to the real time version of Metastock. Uh, you get uh, six live training sessions, two of which are specifically about day trading. You get my option trading plan for intraday trading, two months of real time data and 60 days of membership. Again, all existing pro members will just have their membership extended 
way to the 30 or the 60 days here. It's tradingwinds.com forward slash win. All right, Matt uh, asked an interesting question. He says, is there a way to set an audible alert in Metastock when an exit signal uh, alerts? I'm currently on trial in the trial period with Metastock, and I like it. I just haven't found out the best way to use it. Matt, lucky for you, we have our friend Jeff Gibby from Metastock on. I'll let him handle that question in the chat, and uh, we'll answer that when uh, when Jeff. Yeah, and, and, by, that for and by the way, without Jeff saying that, I, I will tell you that Metastock has an amazing support team. Not only do they have a number of great uh, tutorial videos that will get you up to speed with their software right away, but they have a great support team that you can rely on as well. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Matt says, excuse me, different Matt says, do you have a special offer for current pro members? Matt, give our office a call. The number will be in the chat box, one 574 tomorrow, and uh, we'll be happy to help you out. Jerome was saying, can the chart, uh, software and charting package be set up on multiple computers? I believe on two different uh, devices right now, I believe. But again, Jeff Jeff can uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's two different devices you can put it on. My understanding is Metastock, you can load on as many devices as you want. Oh, uh, is it? You just can't use it at the same time on two different devices. Oh, okay. That's my understanding. Jeff, okay. Jeff will clarify for us. No problem. Uh, Jeff says, yes, it can be used on as many computers as you want, as long as you are using them one at a time. Perfect. I there like you go. to use, use my computers two at a time. So. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Um, compared to the other systems that we have, winning momentum strategy and the engulfing pattern favorite trade setup, mm -hmm. how does this compare? It's, it's a lot more sophisticated behind the scenes, but for the end user, the way Jeff and his team designed it, it's very simple and easy to use. Once you take the training, you'll know exactly the types of setups to look for, and uh, you'll just sit back and wait for, for those. Remember, you have the advantage of using this for the overall markets on the S&P, on, the, on the, the NASDAQ, the Russell, for example, that will tell you what the overall trend of the market is. And then you just go back and, um, and, and pick off those lower time frame uh, trades. But it is a lot more sophisticated than a, a WMS or an OFTS, uh, but it's based on the same core aspects of technical analysis, trading with trend and momentum, and it was designed uh, with safety first because, again, I hate risk. So uh, in order for me to trade it, I had to be very comfortable with it. I like how you did that. It's a baby, safety first, beautifully done. Well, <laughs> <laughs> on that note, it's tradingwins.com slash win. If you're uh, day trading, package on the right. If you're not day trading, package on the left. If you have any questions, you can give our office a call, one 574 2426 The sales chat, if you go to the page at the bottom, uh, is open for another half hour. If you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer them there for you as well. We want to thank you for joining us for our training session on Veracity. Hope you'll take advantage of one of the offers and look forward to seeing you on Friday, Vince. Last word. Thanks again for joining us, everyone. I know uh, this was, uh, uh, I flew through those examples. I wish I had more time to, uh, to go through it and take more of your symbols. Oh, wait, before I let you go, there's one more trade I wanted to show you. My fault, I didn't remind you. Not a problem. Glad I remembered. Let's uh, bring up the chart. And there's another one that came up on the scanner tonight, and that is Symantec, S-Y-M-C. Here, <clears throat> let's throw that on. Let me just go to the daily time frame. That was the time frame I used for the scan. And you can see that we've got another nice, strong trend in place, and, and this has been picking off the trades on Symantec very nicely lately, and there's another nice setup. And just looking at it, you can also see there's a nice strong bullish engulfing pattern there as well. Um, nice strong momentum behind that move. But of course, just like the expert commentary will tell you, you need to wait for a trade above the setup bars high uh, for that to be an actual trigger. When it does, you will see the green arrow and then it will be a live trade. So we have American Airlines, AAL, which is a short trade candidate, and SYMC, which is a long trade candidate. Matthew says, how long is the training session on Friday? Matt, it's probably going to be about two hours or so, and we will be doing scans and looking for actual trade setups uh, during that time. Mm -hmm. 
folks, that's uh, Veracity. Hope uh, you can take advantage of it, as I mentioned before. We're looking forward to seeing you on Friday at the party at uh, 1 p.m. at Trading Winds House. Uh, well, it's online, but we'll, we'll call it uh, Trading Winds House. Vince, you're pointing at a uh, question. No, I'm, I'm just saying I, I see a, a few people say that they already own uh, Metastock or they have the day trading package and asking if they can upgrade. Um, absolutely. If you have Metastock, uh, whether it's an older version or, or the newer version, but you want to upgrade to one of these packages, just give our office a call and we'll take care of that for you. Um, but even if you start off with the Platinum and then later on want to move to the Day Trader package, uh, we can look after that for you, not a problem. I did want to remind you, if you do want the professional setup service, uh, it has to be done tomorrow so you can be prepared for the session on Friday. Uh, so let us know when uh, we can get that set up for you as well. Folks, thank you very much. It's uh, March 29, 2017. We're glad you could join us. We'll see you soon. Thanks, everyone. Take care.